So after my last podcast where I was explaining what it was like to have Neptune in the third house, I was like, you know what, you should really just, maybe it's just boredom, I won't lie, I'm just really bored. And I was like, okay, I'm going to try to go off of like, uh, run with Neptune in the first, because I know quite a few people with this placement as well. And for me personally, with Neptune in the third, I have to experience it. I have to see it firsthand in order to understand it. But then once I do see it, I get a like really good understanding of how it functions and like how the energy works in people's lives. So let's rock Neptune in the first house, because that one's another fun one. <laughs> the first house of the Zodiac is your physical appearance. It's your persona. It's who you look at when you look in the mirror. It's what you see looking back at you. But it's more so just, it's not just like your physical appearance. It's the personality that you give off. Depending on the sign in that house, like it'll shape and color like the personality that you have. So say you have um, Sagittarius in the first house. You're going to come off as somebody that is very happy-go-lucky, very free-spirited, fun and exciting and like not necessarily... Hmm. Not necessarily somebody that you would see as like the most responsible type necessarily, but like somebody that knows how to enjoy life. Because Sagittarius is very known for that. If you have a different placement like um, uh, Aries, you're going to be somebody that's very, very independent, headstrong. Um, you're going to like be a warrior in a sense. You're going to wage forth into battle and like take life on. And like the people around you, like you're probably going to like battle them a little bit like not battle necessarily but you might be a little bit combative because with like a strong like mars placement in your first house like that's the persona that you would give off so what happens when you place a planet like neptune in your first house neptune being the planet of spiritualism and fog and like confusion and all that stuff what happens when you place that planet into your personality something very interesting happens actually (laughs) that's a good way to put it um you become somebody as Neptune. Well, I'm sorry, I should probably explain. Neptune is the planet that like turns people into martyrs. It makes them feel guilty for things. It uh, creates a lot of confusion, and it makes you very, very spiritually receptive and like psychic. I know as a for like all of the Neptune placements, besides Neptune, probably in the twelfth. I would say the twelfth, first, and third. Or the 8th, that would be a big one too. But the 1st is one of the biggest on regards to uh, being intuitive. Being very, like, psychically receptive to people's, like, emotions and, like, their inputs. I know a couple, like, first house, like, Neptuners that I've met. They've said, like, that they know instantly, like, how people feel about them. Like, they can intuitively read it, like, right off the bat. A lot of these people that I have, like, encountered or interacted with, they have this extreme sense of guilt in regards to the way that they project their personality to people. So they just, they constantly beat themselves up. They feel bad for things. They are big martyrs in regards to, it's hard to like explain it because it's in regards to your personality. So it's just the way that you appear to others. So this is a person that like, say they're at like the grocery store and they don't say hello to somebody. They like will beat themselves up all day long thinking about the fact that they didn't say hello and how they should have said hello and that was really rude and like that person was probably so offended when in all reality the truth is no that's probably not true that person probably like just thought you were busy <laughs> but that's Neptune in the first there's a lot of like guilt ridden frustration there the psychic aspect of it comes in big time because these people are like incredible at reading other people when you place like a psychic sign like Neptune in your first house of personality and physical appearance all that stuff like these are the people that like as soon as they meet somebody like they can instantly get like a red flag or um you know what I mean like they're uh they can pick up like, oh, no, don't want to mess with this person. But at the same time, they can also not pick that up as well. And confusion can hit them and they can be taken advantage of by people or made out to be people that they aren't. That's a big one, too. People will tell these people that they are something that they're not. They will uh, judge their personality traits in a way that hurts these people and makes them like question themselves. That's a good way to put it. I know with Neptune in the first, there's supposed to be a lot of karma attached to a person or the person that you were in your uh, past lives. Supposedly they were like dishonest or they had an, an image. They gave an image to the world that was not honest. And so it's some sort of past life karma that you're working with. 
Um, yeah, I, I don't know personally, but that's what I've heard. It makes a lot of sense to me though, because all the first house nap turners that I have met are like that. They're just like these people that are just like ridden with guilt and like so hard on themselves, like about things that you just, it doesn't even make sense to you. And I just want to take them under my wing and be like, I get it, bro. Cause I'm like that when I talk to people, if I say something wrong, I feel like I'm destroying the world. <laughs> Neptune's real pain in the ass, especially when it's in the house. That's like very, uh. Uh, receptive on regards to like psychic intuition um what else did neptune in the first do with the uh, first house being your physical body it is one of the houses that rules a lot of like health implications and um so if you had neptune in your first you could suffer with uh being very receptive towards uh like energy in your environment and like that affecting your health or physical body like if you were like around somebody that was like very very draining like you would probably be like the perfect bait for an energy vampire <laughs> i don't even like that word like i hate the word energy vampire but like because they are so intuitive and so like free flowing and like they feel easily guilted into things like energy vampires would just suck the life out of these people because people can make them feel absolutely horrible in a relationship like setting they need to like I at least what I have seen personally they do better with uh very Neptunian types like that can also like combat that and like would not take advantage of their like generosity and kindness and stuff like that they first house Neptuners they say that they are constantly living <coughs> in a different realm these people are very known for developing like substance abuse issues just because they're always their personality is spiritual like in a in its essence like they nothing really phases them because they do live in such an alternate reality already that it's just like yeah okay there might be a dead dude standing over there I don't know <laughs> But a lot of people don't know how to handle that, and a lot of them, like, don't open up about this stuff just because it, in our world, like, it makes them look nuts. Um, what else about first house Neptuners? Oh, this is a very big one. They don't have a very clear sense of who they are. That is something that I've noticed. Like, they're very, uh, their personalities, they're very chameleon-like in their personalities. They change, like, in any setting that they're in, and they basically, like, take on the traits or personality traits of other people as well. For me, personally, with somebody that, like, is so receptive, like, on regards to communication, because mine is in my third house, I'm like, okay, you're not acting like yourself right now. You need to snap out of it <laughs> and come back to me. But I think that probably works pretty well with my friends and, like, other people that I know with this placement, because I'm like, come on, come back to you. Where, where's your personality? Bring it back. <laughs> but they have a very hard time defining their personalities and like being themselves and finding who they actually are because of this. Because they have, for one thing, they're dealing with so many people telling them that they're something that they're not, but then they're also dealing with like being so receptive to all the energy that they're around and the people's personalities they're around and taking on their traits. So they're just kind of like free flying, free floating through life. What is that song? Free bird no I can't even think there was a song that I was going to correlate to that <laughs> but basically Neptune in the first house is just they're big sweethearts like these people like deserve hugs like big time hugs I know that I've read that they're also and I've not only read I've seen it as well they're either like sometimes they're like too open with people like they open up like personality wise like way too quickly and it makes them gullible and it puts them in a position where like people can take advantage of them because to them like they're so non-judgmental they're so like warm and like spiritual I guess it's just a good way to put it they see everything with like a purpose and like bad things happen for a reason and stuff like that and so like a lot of people can take advantage of them because they are so open when you, Neptune is a planet that's just like it's like a river like you're just floating all over the place so anywhere that you have Neptune in your chart like you're just free flying <laughs> like nobody can really stop you or uh, contain like your energy your watery energy I guess you would say it just it makes it really really hard for you to uh, put that in a box or try to direct that water elsewhere like no matter what it's with it on your first house like you are just that's what you're projecting constantly that's who you are to everybody else they're, you can't they're, they're just so receptive I mean it's really really hard for them but yeah I think that was a pretty accurate description of Neptune the third or Neptune the first. Sorry, I just did the third earlier this morning. Um, 
Like I said, I'm going to head over to YouTube and start filming other videos on regards to all this. I just, I'm bored and I, I suck with details and all that stuff. So this is what I'm doing for now. I wanted to do cover the first house. Maybe I won't even go to YouTube. Maybe I'll just continue podcasting. I enjoy it a lot more, but yeah, that's Neptune in the first house for you. If you have that in your natal chart, don't worry. You are a sweetheart. Be strong. Stand on your own two feet and find yourself. That's a big one. Please find yourself. Like, don't allow people to define you. Don't allow... And don't be an asshole either. That's another thing that I have noticed with that placement. I won't lie. Like, a lot of Neptune in the first houseers will, like, argue up and down with you if you, like, misread them. And it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, you can't get upset with other people about this. That's what I've noticed with Neptune in the third. Like, I can't take out my like confusion and stuff on other people you can't take out other people's like misjudgments because you're constantly changing your personality traits in every single setting so if you have somebody around you that can read people really well and they tell you something wrong like you just got to like stand firm in your convictions but don't be a dick like find yourself find a concrete personality and like stick to it like get hobbies get your own hobbies get like things that you love and Build your own personality. That's a big one. That's like how you can combat like the Neptunian problems in that area. So yeah, I think that's about it. Don't worry though, you guys are still great people. You really are. You are like the sweetest people in the world. And you're so goddamn non-judgmental, it's amazing. So yeah. Yay! First house Neptuners. <laughs>